The doors of an embattled animal shelter are closed to any more animals for the next two weeks. The move in Putnam County comes as a case of parvo was detected. 13 News reporter Lane Ball explains where an investigation is happening after a dog was accidentally euthanized last month is now under more scrutiny by volunteers because they say the living conditions there are not acceptable. Debbie DeWee says it's difficult to get out of her mind what she saw inside the Putnam County Animal Shelter. She and other members of the Putnam County Republican Women Group took photos when they were volunteering. I was very saddened. I was burdened. It was very challenging for me to see some of the conditions. Conditions that she says aren't safe or healthy for the animals to live in. Things like unclean kennels and animals that need medical attention. Deweese and the county manager, Jeremy Young, both agree that there are staffing issues at the shelter, but he says the pictures were taken before employees and volunteers had a chance to do their cleaning sweeps. My concern is any sickness, any, you know, these animals need to be checked. We just want to help. That's all we wanted to do. We wanted to help them get organized or, you know, whatever we could do. Wednesday, the shelter closed for a deep cleaning where the community chipped in. Later in the afternoon, a dog tested positive for Parvo. Now there will be no intakes or adoptions for the next 14 days. However, the county says volunteers are still welcome to come help. We've got to help our county. The folks that are down there, those few ladies and those volunteers, including all of us, to help us make it the place that it needs to be to take care of those animals. Right now, the current director of the shelter is on administrative leave as the county commission investigates a case from last month where a dog named Eli, who was brought to the shelter, was mistakenly euthanized. The county manager says that investigation should be complete Monday. Reporting in Putnam County, Lane Ball, 13 News.